Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I want to share with you a new product called Bendables. This is a sublimation blank and it's made by a company called Duralux. They reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to try some of their products and I said absolutely. So they sent me a whole bunch of their bendable products. So I want to show you what these are all about. Currently bendables are available at Johnson Plastics Plus and I will link them in the description below the video along with the coupon code that'll save you 15% off your order of sublimation blanks at Johnson Plastics Plus. So let's get into this big pile of bendables that they sent to me and then we will go ahead and press one of them and show you how this works. So the bendable products are just what they sound like. They're bendable products. This is a flat sublimatable process that you can go ahead and sublimate this entire product and then you bend it and this particular one is an easel. I wrote on all of these, I had to look them up. This one is an easel so you can sublimate the whole front with a picture or a team ID or a table number or whatever you want. And then right here is a score line or a split in the design where you can bend this and it will make a bendable easel. So again, we'll do some of these in the video just to show you the difference. So this one, you can see it's going to bend right here in the middle. So you could do two different photos and this is going to make like a book frame. So it will bend right in the middle and set up like you have a double photo frame. So really cool product. Or you could do like a big portrait photo and then it'll just bend across the entire front. Really neat product. We'll do this one later. This one is a napkin holder. So you're going to bend it at both of these creases right here and they're going to bend up like this and it's going to make a napkin holder. So really cute. This is a napkin holder. Um, they have some smaller products. This is a, let's see it. This is an ornament or a keychain or whatever you wanted to use it for. It comes with some split rings that you can hang it from. This is a cork coaster. Here are some, this is an actual ornament, comes with the tie to hang it. Um, these are some big round, let's see, is this cork? This one is a, another big round. This is some little key tags. So like a little, um, what do you call those? The, like the army tags? I can't think of the name right at the moment. These are some luggage tags. So again, you can sublimate both sides. And here are some more of the bendable products. So this is a, this will actually bend into a phone stand. So you're gonna bend it, bend it. This will come up and perform a little um, back or stand for it to hold on. Up here, you can hang your keys. So I think we'll do this one in the video because that one's kind of hard to understand. But this is going to be a phone stand that you can sublimate. This one, cute, this one is a taco holder. So if you can see, these two sides are gonna bend up and it's going to hold your taco shell. This one will bend into a tray. So all of these sides are going to bend up and it's going to make sort of a bowl and that will be like a little round tray. This one is a photo cube. So again, you're going to, or this is a note cube actually. So you're going to fold this side up, this side up, this side up, the front will be open, and then you can put one of those note cubes in it. This one is a business card holder. So if you look at the back, this is going to bend up, that's going to bend up, and then this will bend back and it'll make a business card holder. So I'll try to put photos up here, what the finished product look like. This is another business card holder, another style. This is another phone stand, only this one doesn't have the keys on the top. Uh, this one is another easel, so it's more of a rectangle easel. It'll bend right here. This one is another easel. This one is a table tent, so this one will bend like this. So it'll be like an upside down V, bends right in the middle. 
And then you could do two sides. If you had a restaurant, this would be great for daily special. Um, I mean, obviously you can't change it. So if you had the same weekly specials, you could put those on here or drinks or something like that. Um, these could be used for weddings, for table markers. These could be used for all kinds of um, just reception desk information that you need. But again, a table tent. This one is a desk plate. So your name, it'll fold up. Uh, this is another easel. This one is an eight sided frame. Now this one, I'm gonna have to put the picture up to show you what this is, but this is going to, it's actually two different pieces. Let's see if I can, these are wrapped together. They're all uh, wrapped in a protective coating. So there's pieces like this, and then, let me see if I can get this apart. So these are going to nest inside of each other like this. And then you can have a photo on each one of these and it will set on a desk or a table. Really fun, unusual products. So this one is a Christmas tree, works the same way. You just hook them inside of each other like this. Again, these are plastic coated, so I can't get it hooked together, but this will make a three dimensional Christmas tree. And again, you could fill it with photos, you could fill it with Christmas decorations, you could fill it with a buffalo plaid, whatever your Christmas decor is, you could match it with that. And then these are, I got two of these. This is a really big canvas frame. So you can fill, I mean, it's not canvas, obviously. This, these are all metal, but this is a frame. So you fold this up and this will make like a box. It'll look like a canvas, but it'll be metal and you can sublimate a family photo on it or a holiday greeting or whatever you wanted, your company logo. So let's, oh, I know there's one more I wanted to show you, which is kind of a fun product. This is a clock and it comes with all the hardware to make a working clock. So you can put a photo on here, a team logo, um, your favorite characters, a kid's room. You know, I could do Frozen or something like that for Evie. Really cute and make a clock for their room and you've got all the hardware to make it a working clock. And again, this is a sublimatable blank. So, that's all the blanks that they sent me. And again, they're available at Johnson Plastics Plus. So I'm going to set things up and I've got the heat press heating up. We're going to go ahead and press one of these. I'm going to go ahead and send my image to the Sawgrass SG500. This is the sublimation printer. I will have links to everything in the description below the video. But I am really enjoying the sublimation process. So I've unwrapped my bendable and I've just sprayed it with a little bit of alcohol. If you don't have alcohol, use Windex and use a lint-free cloth. Just make sure that you've gotten any lint or dust or anything that could interfere with your transfer off of your bendable. So I can do something on the front and the back. This is where it's going to bend right here. So I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to even put anything on the back. I'm going to put it on the front. So this is a five by seven bendable frame. I use the Creative Studio to create the image and it's printing off here. This is an aluminum product. So when I used the print manager, I just told it that I was printing on metal and that's what we're going to use. So you're going to want your heat transfer tape. I have several different ones. I believe this one is the Cricut one. But here is my image. Again, I'm using this black and white picture of Ace and Evie. You guys are familiar with Ace and Evie by now. So I am going to, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just going to center the front side on the photo and try to get it as even as I can. This photo's just slightly bigger. I wanna make sure that I go all the way up to that edge and we're just gonna tape it down. You wanna make sure that this is not going to move on the press. So I've taped my bendable down to the photo and I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see the photo is slightly past where this is going to bend. That's going to ensure that I have edge to edge covering. And I just use the five by seven frame that's right in Creative Studio with Sawgrass and it automatically added that extra 
uh, ink around the edges so that I could be sure and have edge to edge covering. You wanna make sure that the top, you can see a little bit of your print and again, just below that bendable line. So I have the heat press heated up to 385 for 120 seconds. That's the directions according to Johnson Plastics website. So again, you have this taped down. You wanna make sure it's not going to move. We're gonna turn it over so that the paper's on the top. I'm gonna place it in my heat press with a, I've got a piece of blowout paper on here. It's just butcher paper. And we're going to put it paper side up, our transfer side up. I'm gonna cover it with another piece of blowout paper. And we're going to press this 120 seconds at 385 degrees. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more pressure. All right, I'll be right back as soon as our so we've got about 10 seconds left. We're gonna let this count down and finish. I've put on my gloves. Now you need to bend this while it's warm. So we're going to have to handle it while it's warm. So I'm gonna lift it up. We're gonna remove our blowout paper. I'm going to swiftly remove my transfer. Grab it on an edge and pull that off. Sweet, all right. So it is hot, this is very hot. But while it's warm, we're going to go ahead and bend it just like so. And now we've created a easel frame and you can see this is, it's this aluminum. So it's on there permanently, really, really neat. Let me remove the tape. So what a fun, fun project this is. I think this, these are such a cool product. I haven't seen anything like this. I'm really looking forward to trying some of the other ones. And again, I'll link um, or try to pop up some photos of what the other products look like when they're done, since I obviously can't do them all in one video. But I also wanted to let you know, uh, today is November 22nd, 2020, and I'm already seeing some great deals, Black Friday deals, um, November specials coming up on the Sawgrass print sublimation printers, if you're interested in those. I've seen some deals on this Pink Craft Heat Press, which is one of my favorite additions to my room and some other deals. So I'll try to link those in the description below if you're watching this um, in November of 2020 or early December. Keep watching for those deals because I think they will continue to come up. But again, this is a product by Duralux. It's called Bendables, and you saw all of the different variety of things that they carry. They're available at Johnson Plastics Plus. I'll have them linked in the description below the video along with the coupon code um, that will give you 15% off your order of sublimation blanks. It doesn't work on machines. But if you use that link, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.